game. Ape game. Ape game. How's our frame rate? Because for some reason, the Void Sorrow has had a frame rate cap placed on all video. All video <sighs> that's coming out is doing pretty good. 12, 12 frames a second or so. It's, it's doing pretty good right now, to okay. be honest. As long as, it's, a, as long as it's Ape watchable. Ape Out is a simple game, so it's 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 have it's not having any issue. Uh. Stream Elements didn't Mutual seem to sound. like this game's name, though. Of warm it up. Yeah. No, the, like, if you look at Stream Elements, Stream Elements just says that I'm streaming! And then there's just a colon with nothing after it. You're streaming... something. Well, looks like we've been experimented on. This shall not stand. The ape is out. The ape is playing the cymbals. So Ape Out is a very musical game. Um, it's in the vein of Hotline Miami, uh, sort of. I've been playing a lot of a game recently called Ocho. Um, and Ocho is a game about uh, being good at Hotline Miami. So hopefully I won't get too fucked up as I show you the wonder that is Ape Out. You could call Ape Out a game, but it's really more of an album. Ape Out, Ape Out is in fear. As you can see, my running makes a distinct noise. Men being splattered against the wall makes a distinct noise. We have created freeform jazz. Now, if I take the men hostage, they accidentally fire their gun. This is bad gun safety. I can use this. That man has a shotgun. I can use it to kill. The ape has a gun. The guns also make a distinctive noise. Oh yeah, it is actually timed to the uh, beat as well a little bit. You can survive a couple of hits, as you are an ape. Don't get hit too much, though. Or you will be a dead ape. You can actually tell when which gun is going to fire, because each gun variety has its own tempo. Oof. As you can see, I died. Some enemies explode. You can throw them. They explode when thrown. Let's try that again. This is one of the few games that I willingly, uh, periodically, unmute myself to listen to in the uh, Twitch because it is a beautiful, beautiful soundtrack. Yeah, like, I, I wish there were more good rhythm games because I feel like a lot of rhythm games, like, try to make their rhythm in a way that ends up making them not like, as tightly scripted as they could be. Like, I remember seeing an interview where apparently the devs of Ape Out had to work for, like, weeks and weeks to actually get this game... Ow. To actually get this game to sound right. Just because, like, you have to get everything timed in a very specific way, and, like, because your ape is galloping on all fours, you have to make sure that the, uh, drum sound of the ape galloping actually lines up properly. Men also hate it when you throw other men at them. They will be stunned or killed depending on how big the man is. I'm gonna try and focus in this area. The ape runs faster forward than back. This is physics. It's easier to move forward than it is to move back. The door is the sign of a new level, uh, the green door specifically, and that means I am uh, healed, so I just run through those when I see them, if, if I have to. There are achievements for, like, doing albums, uh, because each of these is an album, technically. Um, if there is an achievement for doing albums pacifist, I will not be getting that achievement. The ape has a shield. Knock, knock. I believe you 
also get achievements for freeing the other apes and ensuring they get to the end of the level with you. I didn't know the other apes could be freed. I thought they were all dead. Nope, there is a, I believe, uh, I believe in one level that you have been caught in, there is exactly one other ape. You can save that ape. Apes out. Plural. I will attempt to save the ape once. Woo! Please do not shoot ape! I think the apes' uh, drumbeats also get more frantic the more injured they are to represent their blood spot, which I think is an interesting and cool detail. There. But yeah, like I feel like a lot of rhythm games, they 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 think that like just having a rhythm game like DDR stapled on top of a bunch of RPG mechanics makes a good rhythm game. And I would argue that Ape Out creates a better just like improvised sonic experience than most of those like rhythm games that I've played, you know? Like, I played a game recently called uh, Metronomicon Slay of the Dance Floor, which was like a DDR RPG thing where you had to do DDR tracks to, to do your special moves and stuff, and that was cool. But the problem was, like, it was just DDR with an RPG happening next to it. It wasn't actually, like, rhythmic in any interesting way. Damn it. Ah! Oh, always with the fucking exploder guys right near the end. Maybe I have to accept this is a game that I will in fact have to go quiet during. Please, leave Gorilla be. Gorilla lives only for violence. You can live. Please, there is nothing in this gorilla worth dying for. Woo! Ah! Damn it. Okay, I need to just not take chip damage before that door, like a like a silly person. You brought up the detail of um, enemies firing their guns in rhythm because I actually did not know that. I was not aware of that as a mechanic. Yep. Uh, and then minor spoilers, I suppose, but later the flamers actually produce a small, consistent tube uh, uh, beat while they are their flamethrowers are active. I actually did not know that. Woo! Not to ape, you don't. Uh, I'm aware of the flamers. I, I was not paying enough attention to actually notice their small, consistent tune, just because uh, they're in some pretty fucking loud levels, if I'm being honest. <laughs> the reason I say that Ape Out is more of an album than a game is because, well, side A is over. It's time for side B, everyone. B side. I need to deal with this security system if I want any chance of becoming an ape out. What if I did this? Yes. They'll never suspect. <laughs> A monkey of stealth. Woo. Excuse me, sir. Put that down. 
I like how for this section they have also put a, uh, a muter on the drum set because it's sneaky time. This is a sneaking gorilla. The most dangerous foe you have yet to face. Ow. His stealth skills leave something to be desired, but he makes up for it in brutal, raw strength. Actually, you know, come to think of it, I'd hope that was a rifle, man, not a shotgun, man. But come to think of it, Rhythm Gorilla is a uh, Metal Gear-ass name. I could totally buy there's a, a Metal Gear boss somewhere in the alternate universe known as Rhythm Gorilla. Rhythm Gorilla. Rhythm, careful, Snake. Rhythm Gorilla is a real gorilla. Snake, I hear Rhythm Gorilla was created by the USSR in order to cre increase goodwill towards them towards the end of the Second War. However, it worked too well. The people loved Rhythm Gorilla and not the country he came from. And so, the USSR betrayed Rhythm Gorilla. <laughs> and had him executed by fucking firing squad. I should have just run through that room. This game's really demonstrating the uh, streamer's curse when they fucking talk, huh? This level is called Ding. Ding. Mm. But I've been seen. I haven't. Hmm. What is a ding? Oh, the backup generators are on. Oh, the backup generators are on. Oh! Ape in danger! Mm. Who brings hand grenade to fight ape? is an experimental ape. He's smart enough to recognize when you have a belt of anti-ape grenade. This is an ape that will use your anti-ape grenades to great effect. Damn. I hesitated. And much like Sekiro, hesitation was my defeat.
keep doing it. I keep dying so close to the end. I'm simply disappointed in myself, you know? Deep escape was never made to be. All apes are in fact attempting to escape. Some of them from a laboratory, some of them from the cycle of karma. You know how it is. Does this ape understand the cycle of death in reverse? That's a great question. I really don't understand how I keep getting fucking snapped got by the fucking grenade guys. Like, what's going on with that? Second question, are the enemies in this game fucking randomly generated? Because it feels like that grenade guy was further up than he usually is. They have a patrol here. Uh, it looks like the cycle might not be preserved between lives, which is a real pain in the fucking ass for me. I'm not really sure how I was meant to get past a man standing directly next to a grenadier who would explode if I launched the man into him. I believe that certain parts are particularly generated and certain parts like this one are not. Yeah, no wonder I'm having the, a difficult time on some of these areas. In some of these areas, the enemy layouts are slightly different, and I'm just running into fucking uh, bombers. <laughs> Woo right here! You can't make me stay here. I'm leaving whether you want me to or not. This ape is out, baby. Deny this ape, go. Go, deny this ape, go. <laughs> ape out. And thus concludes the, the tale of that ape. That ape is out. But it's not over yet. You see, this is a multi-disc album. That was subject, uh, subject four. Yep. This. This. this High Rise Ape, I guess. I I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if there's a fandom name for High Rise Ape. This is you on the elevator. Let's see. Days like this make an ape want to kill. You there. Why have you walled my cage with glass? High Rise Ape. Okay, here's a genuine question. The high Rise Ape is, uh, is an exotic pet. Oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna ask, why keep a fucking ape at the top of a 30 floor high rise? So this is the vengeance of an exotic pet. I once again don't have to feel bad about this. Yes. These guys aren't scientists, they're just idiots with pistols. Because I always, in my mind, like, my brain went, oh, that's the scientist enemy thing. Like, the, the one that runs away from you, like a little wiener. I mean, yeah, pretty much, but essentially it's just a guy that was not uh, hired enough to deal with an ape. Yeah. I mean, if I only had an M1911, I don't think I could deal with an ape. Actually, that's a great question. Do you think with one, uh magazine of M1911 ammo, a human being can kill an ape. And I'm talking like a full 45 M1911, I'm not talking like, uh, 9mm, I'm talking like the full, full 45 frangibles, you know? 
This is a gamble that hunters take on the regular, specifically <laughs> poachers. Just pistol dueling apes? Is that actually how poachers fucking do it? Yeah, because they can't really afford to get fancy guns if they're poaching. They're going to teach the apes how to use pistols by doing that. They understand yeah, no, that, right? Yeah, that's, that's why it's a gamble, because these apes in certain areas have learned how to deal with poachers and uh, have started to employ guerrilla tactics. Yeah, apparently this is something that I learned recently from Gub. Gorillas understand small arms tactics uh, and small unit tactics because of poachers. Something that humans took most of their existence to invent. Because that was only invented like in, in the advent of recent military history with uh, modern automatic weapons. You know, when you... Uh, we are we are speeding along evolution, shall we say? Uh, Red's Queen's race has never Woo! gone faster. There's a sniper. The police have gotten involved. Pigs, the natural enemy of the ape. Here's a question, actually. Why do you know so much about the storylines of the various discs of ape out? Because I don't know very much about any of them. I watched a. Uh, essentially a retrospective that was a 45 minute um, um, video essay for, yep 45 minute video essay on how they coded this game's music ah was it with like one of the devs who coded the engine for it um or partially it... yes and it was also partially yeah. someone just like gushing about like like he, he here was the, it the in, Jacob in, Geller video or was it a different one? Because I saw a Jacob Geller video on this game, which made me like it quite a lot. But, I think it might be the Jacob Be Geller video. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Huh. The sniper sniped my window stability, gamers. I. <laughs> <laughs> I Expl ex exploded your game g game window. Oops. Yeah, uh, I don't know if my my uh, window launching effect on Linux plays on stream, but I have a window effect that makes it so that when windows crash, they literally crash in a shower of broken glass. So on my screen, I got shot by a sniper. The game froze, and then Ape Out just closed, <laughs> like shattered into a million pieces. We're back. Thankfully, I think I had just hit a checkpoint when the game decided I was done. Let's continue. Uh, but you were watching a video uh, gushing about Ape Out. And, and I guess, analyzing the, the Ape Out plots. I'm not very aware of them, that's for sure. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, they're very basic plots. That's the thing, like, I just thought this was like, oh, this is like a different science lab where they made another orange power ape. You know, I didn't power, actually, uh, power ape. I didn't come to the conclusion, which was, um, you know, exotic pet takes vengeance upon cartel. I also do like how when you grab the machine gun guys, they do a uh, drum roll in the background. That is pretty good. And how the drum roll is like syncopated to the to the shots. Ooh, that's good. You seem to be out. Be out running the sniper rifle, which is quite impressive as far as apes go. Well, you see, that's the thing. The ape is a pretty big target, which is pretty shot, pretty surprising that they can't hit him. I think they might be going for cool ape headshot. Oh, ah, uh, end of side A, of course. The ape descends into the ending of side A. He awakens. It is side B. part of this game that gets into taiko drumming because i'm not good at identifying it by ear but i feel like there should be oh oh 
Not doing great on health so far. Tip 10. Okay, yeah, he, he blasted out better than I expected. Oof. I like that it's turned into a sort of a, a heavy, a heavy urban jungle beat. Yeah, no, it sounds like something you would hear, like, from Stomp, like, just whacking on, like, buckets and pans and stuff. And then the cops below are just being showered with, like, bits of, of human and ape blood as this ape uh, reincarnates into the cycle of torment. Ow. I forget that the snipers don't lose tracking when they're on the same screen as you. Oof. The ape has spotted you through the hole in the wall. What do you do? Cry, presumably. Here comes. Uh, I, I presume get out of there if you're smart. Yeah, like, honestly, um, this is why you shouldn't be a cop, because someday you might be called to an ape incident, and then what are you gonna do when you have to deal with the ape incident as part of your job? Ow. 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 No grenade. Mmm, this, this shiny fruit explodes. Don't like. <laughs> Tape return to other buildings. No sniper man in other building. Yeah, there is an immediate just transition of the drums when you move over to the to the non-construction building, which I love. Oh, damn. I didn't get the right bullet syncopation to make the to make it happen. A technique number 37, ballet of death. He spins. Spin the destruction technique. I didn't even throw that guy. He just ran out on his own. Here's a question, actually. Do you let yourself be mauled by the chimpanzee, or do you just turn the gun on yourself? Because I know what answer I'm choosing. Like, if I'm not confident I can take the, the chimp down with my gun, I am killing myself. I'm not being chimped. You don't want to be chimped? I don't want them to bite my face off. They go for the face and the, the, the hands, and apparently the... the the penis and testicles, quite often. And while I don't have any of those things, uh, my pain simulations tell me that I would rather shoot myself in the face than have a monkey bite off my penis and balls. Well, sometimes that's just the price you have to pay for fighting an intelligent organism that can uh, buy your weak points. Fair enough, I suppose. I do also like how the music delays the drum fill after the machine gun fire, so that you can hear the drum fill, like, in response to the gunfire, almost. Like, I, I assume that's an intentional engine thing, which I, yeah, I really like. Yeah, it's absolutely an intentional engine piece. So, like, the, the drums aren't actually just the sound effects of your character moving or attacking. The drummer is playing in response to the ape, like, on a slight delay, on, on purpose. Yes, it is synchronized with the ape itself. I so see. if you stop moving here, you'll stop. You'll stop producing music. Yeah, like I know the like. So the basic walk cycle is perfectly synchronized to the ape, but like the gunfire, the the drum seems to reply to the gunfire on like a slight delay. Like when I grab machine gun, yes. then the drum fill doesn't come until after the bullets fire. So, so quite literally, the ape is in control of the rhythm. Yes. <laughs> uh, what a good game. Man, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat 2 looking kind of wild. 
Can't believe they let Donkey Kong kill in this one. I can. I can absolutely believe they'll let Donkey Kong kill in one of the new games. Are you kidding me? Floor one! Go, apes. We are so close. This is the danger of having an automatic weapon. The more bullets you have in your weapon, the more bullets the ape has. Who is the ape? Well, the ape is an abstract concept, kind of like the killer from uh, daytime television. All right, we're in the lobby. Ow! <laughs> My lust for innocent blood got me killed. I just Almost immediately there. go for the innocent person, <laughs> and I get popped for my trouble. <laughs> That's fair enough. Kill me, dude. Double kill. Yeah. No, I, 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 I'm sad that I didn't record my first run of this game because it was much more stylish than what I'm doing now. I don't know how I managed it. I guess I was just in the zone. Lobby. No! I can get down there with more than one hit. Ape lobby into gunshot technique. Damn. I think if you just make a beeline for that guy, you'll be able to grab him before he shoots. Yeah, I think that's my problem. I think the problem is I'm just not managing line of sight as well as I normally do. Because they, they lose they lose line of sight and they just kinda zonk out. So it's kinda fucked up in this area when you kill civilians, it has like a distinct music beat for killing civilians. They they hit a glockenspiel every time you kill a civilian. I don't understand why. Uh, a glockenspiel is sort of the oops of the of the of the uh, of, of, of the genre. Ah. Well, not a glockenspiel. It's like one of those tone wood blocks. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Get hit by a car. <laughs> Ape out. I mean, I guess technically ape out. <laughs> ape out. Ape out of this world. It's the that's best you can hope for. Uh, so sorry, that, that's what happens when you're an exotic pet. Don't have exotic pets, I guess. Fugue is excellent, but Fugue is also quite difficult. Now men, this isn't just any ape. It's a Soviet spy ape. He's working for the Viet Cong. Ow. Ow. I was sipping water, you dicks. I was hydrating. Also, you know, I think it's funny that I asked about Tycho being in this game, and now that I'm actually paying closer attention on, on this playthrough, that was definitely Tycho drumming. And this is all definitely Tycho drumming. Because I think we're meant to be, like, legitimately in the Vietnam War attacking American soldiers. Like, I think the flame troopers are meant to be tunnel rats. Like, yeah, the, the, the ones who, who swept tunnels. I suppose the question here is, why the heck were they keeping a gorilla? Um, I guess literally they thought I was a Viet Cong ape. And not in, like, the racist sense. Like, I'm not trying to say that as a slur or anything. They thought I was a member of the family gorilla aligned with the Viet Cong. What? Hang on. Viet Cong with a K. 
See? Yeah. 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 yeah they... oh. The final of the bunch. Those. Those. Died in the war. We owe him lunch. <laughs> the final of the bunch. He died in the war. He got the clap from a Malaysian whore. G I. Oh, no. G I Kong. About this one. We're, we're gonna be hunted down by the do not, do not, look, do not look up what the Kong family did in Abu Ghraib prison. Um, that's a really deep cut, and also a joke about how the American state tortures people extrajudicially all the time. Don't do it, folks. Torture's bad. Like, I really can't feel too bad about being an ape against the military here. Like, for all of the ape violence that happens in this game, I can't say any of the humans don't deserve it, you know? Also, Red Alert is definitely a level that kicks my ass, so this is gonna be rough. He learned techniques like this from the war. He's using Semtex to breach your door. Tactic. Tactics Kong. Tactics Kong is already here. <laughs> yeah, Tactics Kong is here to kill you because you went slightly off speed from the DK rap. He's a real stickler like that. <laughs> Please stop aiming at ape! Sirs! Sirs! Sirs, you're hitting the bit- Oh boy! I'm not even causing all this damage! Woo! Ape! Ape burn! Mm. Ape just want to open door. Ape use shotgun to great effect! <laughs> Ape dodging bullets like fucking professional. Ape move! <laughs> oh my god, I fucking hate that level. That level took me like fucking five or six thousand tries the first time. Like, I think this whole album took me more deaths than the rest of the whole game up until this point when I first played it. Just because, like, the flame troopers are painful. Oh god, I love the just constant, like, thumping of the fucking Taiko and the bass in the background. That's so good. Oh, hey, I just realized, the longer you walk in one direction, the drumming devolves into a military march until you attack someone. That's really cool, too. Holy shit. <laughs> Has this ape genuinely been taught small arms tactics by his observation of the war? Ape coming to an absolute mastery of his techniques. Like, who do you think would win? Like, Ultimate Soldier style? Like, History Channel's Ultimate Warrior style? Spetsnaz unit? Or one ape trained in broadsword combat and German longsword style? The Spetsnaz are the Spetsnaz, but the... the ape can more dow them. Oh, the gong beats when you fucking throw people now, too. I'm going to say it'll depend entirely on whether or not the ape has the element of surprise, because if the ape is intelligent enough, it will open with the fact that it'll be an ape, and it'll just, like, rip someone apart. And yeah, just pick, just the pick them up and turn them into 
Yeah. So like a double whammy of like the existential terror of oh god an ape just pulled my head off, but also oh Christ an ape with a sword. Yeah, you see the uh, the shotgunners or the flame gunners. It's kind of hard to notice their noise because I just want to kill them the second I see them. They're very scary. Ooh. No. Because the problem is, fuck. You get feather tapped by fire for the entirety of a level, and it's very hard to tell how much fire is enough to kill you because, like, you don't. I guess the flame units cauterize the ape's wounds, so he doesn't bleed. Also, the military march only starts up if you've killed someone already. I wonder if there's an alternate soundtrack for if you don't kill anyone, or if it just prevents certain parts from coming in. Because there was certainly a part in an earlier level where I noticed, like, because I hadn't killed anyone, the, like, drums just did not come in for a good 30 seconds until I did. Oh, Lord! That's a lot of shotgun men, fuck! Oh god. See, this is this is why I have trouble with Fugue. <laughs> There's a lot of wide open spaces on the B side of Fugue that are uh rough. Ow, fuck. Fuck. Not doing great on health already, but we'll see how it goes, I suppose. No, 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 no! Fuck! Oh. Gorilla pain. Gorilla. Gorilla can make it. Gorilla stuck in cycle of karmic pain. Gorilla find exit door to this cruel existence! Gorilla swear! Mm. Gorilla have freedom! Gorilla go! Gorilla go! Gorilla go! Gorilla. <laughs> Don't stop, Gorilla! Oh. Gorilla find door! Gorilla find door! Yes! What instrument are the flame guys? I'm having trouble placing them in all of the chaos, because there's always men around them. Uh, they're the rapid- they're the, the rapid snare. Ah, okay. So, like, even faster than the drum fill on the auto weapon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the the 16th notes. I can hear them now. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what that is, actually? They're causing, in the soundtrack, they're causing paradiddles. That is a, that is a specific, um, it's left, right, left, left, right, and it is a specific, um, like, military, um, cadence that is used a lot in military drumming. Uh, I only know this because, um, Literally, I have a drumming simulator for VR that is called Paradox in, in reference to it. <laughs> okay, I'll take those guys being clumped up there like that. Well, you'll notice that the paradiddle is higher for when you're on fire versus when it's actually just fire there. Yeah, no, it's um, it's not like a paradiddle. It's one of the the variations on it where they they sub out one of the left rings. It's um, it's less disciplined. Because there's there's one that you can do to sound more disciplined, and there's one that sounds a lot less disciplined when you do it. 
that's really, like, I, I'm having a lot more of an appreciation for this game now that I have someone who actually knows about the music and, and telling me about it. Because I knew this stuff was here, I just wasn't sure, like, how far all of it went. No! Ooh, fuck. I thought he was far enough away. Damn. Okay. Close. Ape speed technique. Ape is speed. Ciao. Ciao. Damn, alright, I got a really bad patrol there. They were just all up top. Maybe I'll go to the bottom this time. Activate ape speed. Okay. All three of them just there. What can you say to that except okay? Guess I'll die! What the f- What is up with the dudes up there? There's like well, seven- You are being attacked by guys in platoons. I know, but damn man, I don't know how to deal with that. Aping chest wound. Oh! No! <laughs> I cast a spell and I invoked that on myself is what I did. I said the word aping chest wound and the game was like, okay. Ooh. No! What the fuck? She said it again! That's, okay, that flamethrower man set himself on fire in a, in a shocking display of morality. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the words. Ultimate special technique, ape survival. This level really did uh, clap me this hard the first time as well. Fuck. I have to take advantage of the enemy's bulletproof vests. No! I will swoos! You can't keep me here! This is the power of the jungle beat! Oh. I forgot about Fury. Okay, so I just gotta use the fire to like kind of scare people because the fire has sort of a fright AoE. I think I've, I've sort of figured out how to deal with the platoons as long as they have a flame soldier with them. No. No. Oh, that's a lot of gunpowder. Boys, boys, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this. We can just chill out. We can talk. We can talk. Mm. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. <laughs> the enemy military is now bombing the ape. Enemy ape identification complete. <laughs> this ape is no friend to communism. Oh. oh, there's a lot of them there. Okay. Almost. This, le this level's a little bit scary because part of the, the thing is they spawn the bombs based on where you're traveling. 
so they will almost always spawn in a place that's really inconvenient to you. of the shadow of death. Oh, <laughs> they, oh, almost. They dropped a bomb on the ape. Oh, man. Okay, I thought I could outrun that one. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try my hardest. Ape out can be both a command and an adjective, you know? Because this game makes me fucking hoot and holler. Oh. Hey buddy, you, you hit a flammable barrel in there. Every little thing gonna be alright. Hey, 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 leave war zone. Ape exfiltrating mission zone. I don't remember what disc four is. Even slightly. Ah, right, it's this one. This one's difficult. I'm gonna do my best. I like that it specifies that it's harder. Well, no, that is literally the button you can press to make the album harder. Everyone oh. has a harder mode, yeah. So do you think we're a different ape from the Warzone ape, or do you think the Warzone ape has been recaptured? And this is this is Warzone ape two. Warzone ape is traffic. I choose to believe this is Warzone ape two. Warzone ape is trafficked. believe in you. I just noticed in this room while I was um, taking a drink of water that you can hear the ape's footsteps for the first time in this room. You can, there's just little tup tup tups. Oh. Now this is uh, this is an interesting beat. The sound of men hitting cargo containers? Don't mind if I do. Now the first time I played this chapter, I didn't know you could punch through these cargo crates, so I got fucked up a lot. But you are actually supposed to just use them as cover. And it makes great noises when you do. Woo. A drift, I feel, isn't actually more difficult than burnout. Ooh. Hey, thank you for the follow. Butter eats his veggies. Hey, that's important. Vegetables, as an adult, like, vegetables are like exercise. You just have to do them, even if you don't want to. Why do they have cans on this fucking goddamn deck? No, I am not vegan. If you start ranting about the morality of being vegan in my chat, I will ban you. I don't want to hear about moralizing in my chat. 
That is something I would define as the kind of bad vibes that get you in the, do in the bad dog zone. We've got more important things to worry about right now. Men are being turned into paste by an ape on a, on a, on a ship. Mm. Alright, that's getting uh, a little baby there, my friend. I really don't want to... I, I, I have a lot of autistic friends and they're great. I am also autistic. Okay, I, I, I was worried for a second that I was being baited. Usually when people ask that question, it's trouble. <laughs> My apologies for, for being a little worried. Yeah, no, fuck those guys. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. If they wanted to know what they were talking about, they would have, like, actual autistic people on their board. <laughs> I just realized there's actually a fucking separate drum beat that starts in when you pull on the doors. I think it might be a different one depending on if you have it done silent. Yeah, but that's, that's I, I think I started this question earlier and then forgot to finish it, which was, do you think there's a non-violent version of each track, or do you just not get to hear certain things if you, if you don't do violence? I love the use of just like crashing metal sounds on this part of the soundtrack. Uh, metalpipe.txt. Please stop hitting me in the ribcage with a metal bar! <laughs> <laughs> Not a shittier hotline, Miami. It's, it's definitely artsier. Um,. It was advertised on AGDQ for a really long time. Like, I don't know if this is anyone else's touch point for, for Ape Out, but for me, it was advertised for ages just in the bottom left corner of AGDQ streams. They were just like, hey, Ape Out is in development. These motherfuckers have rocket launchers, okay. Get off the boat. No. All right, let's try to not get lit on fucking fire. Oh boy. The major appeal of this game is the fact that everything is procedurally matched in terms of sound. Yep, it's jazz drumming. To the things that you're doing. That's why I, I refer this game as an album more than like... Ah, fuck! You are an ape. This is an ape. Yeah, no, I am playing as an ape. It's a little hard to tell, but I am in fact an ape throwing people off of the boat. Every one of these levels is in fact a level about a gorilla escaping captivity of some kind. It's not going well. But the, the appeal of this game is that uh, the, the music uh, engine is synced to all of your movements so that it's uh, a freeform drum solo. Oh no, 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 Put that down! You will not shoot the ape with an RPG-7! Ape T missile launcher. to sound makes replaying levels when you leave uh lose even enjoyable than uh when you win just because uh, you get to rehear the actual soundtrack in a new and different way yep yeah i uh i think i got cut off in my thought again but um i, I call this an album because you can finish this game in like 
an hour 40 minutes and it'll just be over and you you could steam refund it if you were a jackass but like it is an album you know Dance clubs do, in fact, hold fucking big L's every day. I actually, you know what? This is news I haven't shared with the stream yet. I got prescribed hormones yesterday. We found, which means, you know, we finally found the big jar of dog hormones for me the other day. You figure with the size of the jar, we be hard to explain, but sometimes. Sometimes we open the airlock in cautiously and it gets shunted out to space. Despite every pill individually being very big, the bottle is quite small. Where am I going? I always get lost a little bit Where are you in this crate yard. Woo! Sorry that I oscillate whenever I'm afraid. I do like that while you're inside of the crate to make the different Ooh, noise. Yeah, no, my walking is a, is a, it's a, it's a stealthy little, like, pipe crash. Also, uh, they do make an HRT Whopper, uh, if you listen to the, the right conspiracy theorist shows. Apparently impossible meat trans is your gender. <laughs> That was a genuine thing I heard once, because they thought that soy contained, like, the kind of estrogen that makes you a woman, instead of phytoestrogen, which is just, like, what happens when a plant makes chemicals that look like estrogen. It doesn't do anything to humans. Do you but everyone was genuinely point? afraid they were going to eat an Impossible Whopper and grow titties, and it's like, no, it's not gonna do that, and even if it did, that would be cool. What were you saying about the, the, the uh, soy boy as an insult? Do, do, do you um, think the soy concept? boy insult has gone extinct? Um, I don't know. I haven't been on Twitter recently enough. I don't like uh, a <laughs> called name. Genuinely, that's the thing. Like, when you're a young person who doesn't know what being trans is, and then you learn what being trans is, it's so funny. Because it really does, can, it really does, like, put in perspective, like, years of- Oh, no! Uh oh Ape got hit by car. <laughs> Ape got hit by car. Um, but it really does contextualize, like, you know, Oh, I want to be a girl. Oh, I want people to think I'm pretty. Oh, I want to wear a dress. And it's like, yeah, you can do those things. And it's like, no, my parents say I can't. And it's like, why do you listen to them? You, you smoke weed. They told you not to do that. <laughs> also, we've turned to the jangle. Oh. 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 Uh, is it a jangle? Or is it's... it a zoo? I mean, you're getting into Plato's allegory of the cave territory there. It needs out. Oh. What? They put a bear in a cage! Yeah, no, fuck Ron DeSantis. Uh, I hope someone hits him over the head with a metal bar uh, in Minecraft. Um, so I don't get banned from Twitch. Like, I, I, I feel really bad for all of my, uh, friends down in Florida, because, like, it, it is just an ongoing campaign of, of fuck these people because they want to be happy. Um, and I think it's mostly just because Ron DeSantis can't figure out why he's not happy. The fucking douchebag. You know, I should have titled this stream something like "Do this to your local Floridian governor." That would have been uh, that would have been prophetic. If Florida man became Florida girl, they would be too powerful. It's, they're scared. That's what it is. Also, I think those tranquilizer guys kill me instantly, so I'm gonna try to not get killed by them. You know what? Why does Ape? Need to do all the work. Hmm. Other animal. Kill. Ape command V. Kill. 
So I used to have genuine anxiety that this would happen to me in a real zoo. Like, before I knew that the glass on the gorilla enclosures was like six feet thick, I was genuinely afraid that this might just happen one day if the gorillas got too upset. Like, Zoo Tycoon gave me the idea that zoos were like Rimworld, where like, if, you're, if, you're, if your monkey gets too angry, he will simply choose to punch his way out. Like, he'll suffer some sort of break that will cause him to start just like, punching the cooler until the whole colony catches fire. Bear's out. Yes. Bears. Oh fuck. They shot bear. They can't shoot all of the bears. We're going to area 51, boys. <laughs> oh first time I did this level I did not understand the gimmick of releasing the other animals, so I really genuinely uh got my ass beat something horrible the first few times. I'm sorry, Bear. I didn't mean to do that. Here, a sacrifice for thee. Woo! Stop that. Wow, he just full force shot that hostage. Yeah, no, I, I love how whenever it comes to the ape, like the, the cops in this game are just like, I'm taking the shot. No hesitation, no standoff, no trying to shoot through the shoulder, just like, I'm doing it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, I, I hate to... I hate to tab out, but I'm pinning that. That's staying until the end of the stream. Good news of the day. Really sad. Weird, some of the zookeepers are just arbitrarily green. I'm not sure why. Maybe they are wearing masks. It's possible, you know? That's important. Zombie. Oh, maybe that's how they got me back after the car accident. Ape, you have to wake up. You're in a coma. We've been trying to reach you for years. Agent Ape, you have to escape. Well... Time for the ape to out. Saxophone drop. What well, we've been fucking building up to the entire hour we've been here. Yep, Bennett Foddy did the fucking art for this game. I was just as surprised to find out. Like, he's given a lot of really in-depth interviews about how he apparently did a whole lot of work to make this game work on, like, the sound engine and stuff. I wanna thank my mom and my dad.
the feature length ape out. Feature length ape out. Actually, this shit has to go for five more minutes before it's a feature length ape out. <laughs> Sorry, what? You know, the, 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 the two-hand tag game, ape tag or whatever. Oh yeah, gorilla tag! Yeah. yeah, no, you can get called racial slurs by a 12-year-old while an, while an ape attempts to oppress you. <laughs> gorilla tag is the evil version of ape out. I'm just gonna fucking let this solo roll, cause like... Goddamn, man. I respect the hell out of the fact that there are some jazz musicians where we literally have physical injuries named after them because they played the trumpet too well. Like, uh, we literally have a, a disease known as Satchmo Syndrome, where you blow out the muscles in your face from tensing them too much. And we call it that because one of the most prolific people to have it was quite literally Satchmo, Louis Armstrong. Uh, because he played trumpet, and it, it messed up his face over time, and when he got older, his cheeks started getting puffier and puffier. And like, with the, with the saxophone, when you get the saxophone to screech like this, like... That's a wooden reed that you have to prevent from breaking. So think about that. Like, the whole instrument relies on a wooden reed. Yeah, that screeching is that reed being pushed past its limit. And he then brings it back in, which is why I believe the, the guy playing the saxophone in this is considered one of the most legendary jazz saxophonists of all fucking time. You hear him squip a note there because he's tired! <laughs> There's just a little note at the end and just kind of wiggled a little. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is quite literally just how long this piece actually is. I don't remember if I had to actually press a button to advance off of Ape Out screen. He might not even let you, if I recall. You might have to close out of Ape Out to reopen it. Well, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna enjoy the sound of Ape Out as I say goodnight, everyone. Um, thank you for the new follow. I always appreciate it. It really does help. And I know that sounds like YouTuber bullshit, but it really does because Twitch is like, no, you can't have funny tokens to do jokes until you have enough followers. <laughs> um, and I will be streaming uh, True Till Tomorrow, probably. Any final thoughts about Ape Out before we say goodnight to everyone? If only I could play the fucking... Right? I I dream of being able to just mash on a piano with this level of ability, truly. Alright. Good night everyone.